that up for 40 minutes and I went a little bit over, but it's all right. Well, if that, if that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, no, we're good. We're totally good. Oh, all right. Um, so I wanted to um, get what the what uh, what's your definition of success? Wow. Definition of success. I don't know. I think that, yeah, uh, I've been blessed, exceedingly lucky to not have to work in my life. I, I, I seldom had to do a job that I considered work. I remember in Phoenix, uh, at the Arizona Republic, Steve Martin was really big at that time with the arrow through his head and balloon animals and all. Oh, yeah. And he around the stage and he would say, I get paid for doing this. And that's what we did as sports writers. I mean, people were paying big money for Sun Devil tickets and we'd just stroll right in and go on the sidelines in the press box, talk to the players. We got paid for doing that. And that's a success to be doing a job that you love. That, that's nice. Success. I mean, I never, I seldom had a day that I woke up and it was a drudge. Even Monday, I don't know about Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> I always had fun on Mondays, you know. I was Sunday uh, football carried on to Monday, you know what I mean? And it's, uh, it was always good. Nice. Very nice. So, um, and for the why, um, why do you suppose everybody hates OU? I think it began with Bud Wilkinson, who put together the nation's best program at the time and, of course, the nation's all-time winning streak of 47 games. In the Dust Bowl, well, it wasn't then the Dust Bowl, but it was considered that. Right. Okie went out to California like, like the Beverly Hillbillies with Granny in the rocking chair on the top. It's been a bad image that we've had all these years. And, and uh, here was the best program. And where, Norman, where's Norman? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Where is that? Is there even hotels there? Can you get, do you need a shots to go there? What, what is, you know, you can't get any food, get anything good there. That's, that's away from any population, acceptable population city or center. And yet there it was. And I think that this had a lot to do with it. It was Oklahoma. We were supposed to be Dust Bowl Okies and yet we're kicking butt on the football field. And nice. it's been Oklahoma against the world. All I mean, a lot of people, they, a lot of coaches try to do that. It's us against the league. But I really think you have to have the verification, authenticity of having a active people who don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> don't like Oklahoma. No. I, I remember when, when the Yankees, I'm old enough to remember uh, Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle, Tom Trash, Yogi. And I was a Yankees fan. Why? Because they were the greatest. They're the best. They played the best ball. And other people hated them. Oh, they're too good, too long. Okay, that I understand. But to me, I, it was never too good with the Yankees, and it never has been too good with Oklahoma. But a lot of people say, that's enough. Oklahoma's had their chance. Now let's move on, Sooners. Let's other people have a shot at it. Oklahoma won six straight championships recently yeah. until last year. And I think they're going to be winning another one. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, that's just the way it is. And haters are going to hate. What can I say? I tell you, the, the power of OU is the way, like, the way they are from 99 to now. And then from 88, from 88 to 99, that was such a rough go, um, especially the mid-90s. And yes. we, we made it through. They made it through that. And, and now they're back on top. And I don't – yeah, I, I've seen I've seen the Jim McKenzie uh, revival, and of course we all know what Stoops did, uh, and you know it's it's been I've seen it happen before, and I think it's going to happen again. Yeah, you know, for sure. Nice. Um, well, can I get can I get a, a boomer sooner on my way out the door? Boomer sooner, buddy. That's right, baby. All day, every day, right? Every day. That's right. Nice man. Hey, well, I've, I've, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do because I am so up for this season. I, I'm going to – it's going to be hard uh, uh, on my heart to – not that I have a heart problem. But <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm really excited about this. And, and, the, and for the first time, and I can't remember when, I'm not going to be 
afraid to see us go on defense. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be happy. Good. I guarantee you we ain't getting rushed for over 200 yards in the fourth quarter. No, and I, I, I think that, you know, if you're going to hang half a hundred on somebody by halftime, it was because the defense puts in some touchdowns too. Those that happened in the good old days, you know what I mean? Yeah. Defense would put points on the board. You count on it. They do it regularly, and that hasn't happened very often. I think it's going to happen now. Yeah, it's um, you know, We talked things. a lot about the off, I mean, I, we talked about defense, and that's great. But I can't wait to see Levy's uh, fast-paced offense. I think it's going to drive people crazy. Well, they be a fun Yeah, they were saying that um, uh, it's like going to be even faster than it was in previous years with with Riley and yeah. Um, I go ahead. Do you remember? You remember under Stoops, uh, they did the I called it the Meerkat offense, where everybody would go to the line and get set, and it all turned their heads at once and looked to the sideline, yep. get the play, and run it. And they did it so that no substitutions could happen. There wasn't time for the defense to substitute, and they were caught in some bad personnel alignments, yeah. and that really worked. You yeah. know, I, I can't wait. You know, that was that was uh, worked very well with uh, Sam uh, Bradford. Yep. And uh, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to that again. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I like how Levy, um, his offense involves the tight ends and the running backs a lot more. And that's going to be really exciting. And he spreads the wealth. It's not going to be. And I, I got sort of tired of those 50-50 balls downfield mm -hmm. on the third long ago. You know, and you sort of hope that your receiver goes up there. And you know, with Mims, he did some great work. You know, yeah. the receiver is very acrobatic. But it got to be sort of old after a while. You know, yep. and I think now it's, it, Oklahoma's going to do it honestly. You know what I mean? They're, they're just going to line up issue, and they're going to take advantage of, of uh, everything they can. And, and he's going to use everybody. Heck yeah. So I, I think that might be bad for somebody like a running back or a, or a star receiver because the wealth will be spread around so much at the end of the game. Several people might have 100. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. but, but nobody's going to have two or 300. Hell yeah. And, hey. and that's good. No, well, go ahead. No, that's good. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. Um, well, I just wanted to um, say that I really, really, really appreciate you giving me some of your time, Rusty, and talk about the history of OU and history of your life and expectations for this year. And It's been a great conversa conversation, bud. You bet. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, we'll talk at you later, bud. Uh, anytime, anytime. You're All welcome. right. Boomer. Thanks. Boomer sooner. All right, bud.